to say this, and I know this might sound really morbid and like I'm obsessing, in which I am, but uh, you know, as I drive through the street, and I, you know, looking around, looking at these people, I can't help but wonder how and when each of them is gonna die, especially now with the Ebola outbreak. So, so this was unusual, you know, I thought I had before as well, but now I'm just looking around, okay, I know that some of them will die, and exactly what time and what hospital, on what curbside, in which ditch, they're gonna end it. is okay mortality in uh, Sierra Leone in Liberia etc is close to 60 percent maybe uh, maybe higher but this is um, in worst case conditions so in ideal conditions in my survival might turn out to be much higher maybe even as as good as 80 percent right 70 which is still still high mortality you know 10 20 percent chance of dying from a disease At least maybe we'll make it long enough to see the vaccine, you know? I wonder how long it takes them to manufacture this stuff, to disseminate. Uh, you know, I spoke earlier today with an acquaintance of mine who, uh, oh, she's, I guess she's one of the people who uh, firmly believes, she, she's a pretty strong believer in the conspiracies, you know, that Ebola is a government-created disease and so is potentially AIDS. You know the stock, the stock market crash of '29 was uh, manufactured by the by the government. Or something like that. That it's also been it's all been, well it's all been engineered. That it's an engineered depression, which is potentially possible. And although I, I tend to believe that it just happened and someone opportunists took you know opportunists took advantage of it. But if it is a manufactured disease. So I think, I guess she points to the evidence that they never made the vaccine, never even developed it. But I still think the cost of developing a vaccine and testing it and then figuring out how to manufacture it, that didn't make sense to them. Until it becomes a global epidemic, like now, it really didn't make any sense to them, especially in Africa. Nobody would even you know, care to provide them with... How, does anyone here, does anyone know how long it takes to manufacture a vaccine once it's developed? Because we'll need many of them, we'll need hundreds of thousands, maybe millions, maybe billions of these vaccines to go around. I wonder if that's how long that takes. Okay, now pulling up to one of my last remaining quiet spots in the city, pretty much my little hiding space. Hiding places in this damned forsaken, God forsaken city. Okay, let's see. Even here it's a little hard to find.
over Africa though. I just hope that our pompous attitude and unearned sense of superiority over Africa will not let us forget that we're never too hygienic or civilized to be that much above the lamentable human condition. Africa, I'm gonna say. It's already doomed.